Arena Sabalenka versus Magda Lynette, the second semi-final for the Ladies Australian Open for 2023. And both ladies have had different rows to get to this final stage. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number five seed and would take on Martin Chova in the first round. And this was no problem for Sabalenka, winning in straight sets, 6-1, 6-4. In the second round, she'd take on the boogie woman, Shelby Rogers, who had beaten big names at slams before. But again, no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on former doubles partner and number 26 seed, Elise Mertz. And again, Sabalenka super impressive, getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-3. In the fourth round, she take on her toughest opponent yet, the number 12 seed, Belinda Bencic, who was in great form to start the year. And after a very close first set, Sabalenka got through in straights again, winning 7-5, 6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals of Australia. Sabalenka would take on the unseeded Vekic in the quarterfinals, who had had a very impressive run thus far. And after a long first set, Sabalenka would eventually get through in straights, 6-3, 6-2, to get to another Grand Slam semi-final. Lynette started the tournament off unseeded and would take on Sharif in the first round. And after a close first set, she'd get through in straight, 7-5, 6-1. In the second round, she'd take on the number 16 seed, Contivate. And after dropping the first set, would have to fight to get back, getting through in three, 3-6, three, 6-3, six, six, three, six, In the third round, she'd take on the number 19 seed, Alexandrova. And this was by far her best performance, beating the Russian in straights, 6-3, six, 6-4. Six, in the fourth round, she took on the number four seed, Caroline Garcia. And after a shaky start and a close first set. She caused one of the upsets of the tournament, getting through in straights, 7-6, 6-4, to get to her first Grand Slam quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Lynette would take on the 30th seed, Pliskova, who she had played nine times before. And after a close second set, Lynette would get through in straight, 6-3, 7-5, to advance to her first semi-final at a major. This will play the twice before with Sabalenka leading the head-to-head 2-0, and hasn't really been bothered when these two have actually played both matches in very easy straight sets fashion. If Lynette's going to win this one, she needs to play the same tactic as she did against Pliskova against Sabalenka. Move Sabalenka around. That's what got Pliskova off guard. And also maybe hope that Sabalenka's not serving that well because we know that Sabalenka's serve is such a big part of her game. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to serve well and be aggressive. She hasn't lost a set for the entire tournament and the entire year, in fact. So let's see if she can actually do that again in this semi-final stage and make her first Grand Slam final. This is going to be a very tough one because the nerves are going to be high both for Sabalenka and Lynette. Lynette's never been here before and Sabalenka's never won a semi-final of a Grand Slam. But I'm going to go with Sabalenka in three sets. I think it's her time. She's going to make this final and finally get to the final of a Grand Slam. But uh, let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? Who's going to win this one?